Hey everybody, it's Cristiano. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hit the subscribe button. If you're not new here, welcome back friends and family. Hi, Canon. This is Canon. So, I have completely redone my bathroom, okay? We just moved to Maine a couple months ago. We bought a farmhouse from 1760 and I redid the bathroom and I'm going to take this piece and turn it into my vanity, my sink in the bathroom. But I wanted to separate this video from the actual bathroom video because I felt like it would be too much, too long, I didn't want it to be too much. So this is going to be the video where I go over how to turn this, i.e. I'm going to paint it, do some blending, into my bathroom vanity. So if you guys wanna see that, stay here. The first thing that I did was remove the hardware and I wanna show you here if there are metal caps on your hardware, you can take a flathead screwdriver and you're going to pry it in the back so that you can get underneath it and you can just pop those off. And then generally you can just loosen that bolt and they will come off. I also cleaned this piece really, really well. And then I removed the doors and the drawers so that I could work on the frame of the piece. So that way we had paint going there and they're under the doors because a lot of people ask me that and then what I did is I primed this entire piece with Purico's gray primer and I allowed that to completely dry before we went in and did our steps for painting and blending. Once my primer was dry, I went over the entire piece with the I Love Hue paint and the color is Boy Mom Blue, which is actually my friend Stacy Darling's curated color. I'm gonna do two coats of this on the entire piece. I like to do the mid color when I'm gonna do a blend like this, just so that I can visualize a little bit better where I want my darks and lights to go. This will be my mid color and I'm going to actually do a custom created darker color. So I'm gonna take Urban Blue by I Love Hue and I'm gonna add a little bit of her Dark Ages, which is her darker, like a black. And I wanna make it a very dark, dark blue. And so this is the color that I'm gonna use for my shaded areas. And I didn't want black, but then Urban Blue wasn't dark enough, so that's why I mixed those two together, and I'll be able to use this because I just put it in a little container. But this is the color I'm gonna use for my very dark areas, and I'm going to outline anywhere where I want that shadowing, shading effect with this color. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to mist the area with my mister bottle. I'm just gonna do a thin coat of my Boy Mom Blue, so that way I have wet paint on here. For this blending, I will be using a brush for each color, and then at the end, you're gonna see that I'm gonna use a special brush that I have designed for blending everything together. So again, we're gonna put our thin coat of your medium color, which for me is the Boy Mom Blue, and then I'm gonna take my special mixture of the Urban Blue and the Dark Ages, and I'm gonna put it anywhere that I want some dark shadowing effects. So this is really up to you. It really depends on your piece. This one is pretty ornate, so it's easy for me to figure out where I want the darker areas. So just take your brush and you're gonna put your darker paint in those areas. After I've placed all the paint, the darker paint in the areas, I'm going to mist the surface and I'm going to take my Boy Mom Blue brush and I'm just gonna do a light blend. So I'm gonna just take that brush, I'm not gonna put any more paint on it, and I'm just gonna kind of lightly do circles and blend that into the darker paint. I do have a rag, so I'm gonna wipe off my brush every few minutes because I want to make sure that that darker color doesn't take over. So what I'm doing right now is kind of blending these together very lightly with a light hand. So I want you to think of light pressure when you're doing this. And then what I'm going to do is add the lighter color. So I will be using the color Whipped Cream by Nordic Chic Paint. And I'm just gonna add this in all the areas that I want highlighted, okay? And I'm using a separate brush for that. So remember, I have a brush for each color, and then I'm just placing these. 
What I want you to think about with this kind of blending is almost like we're contouring this piece of furniture. So if you ever see someone who contours their makeup, this is essentially the same concept. So these, this is where our highlighter is. And then the other one is where our deeper stuff's going to go. I don't know anything about makeup. So I'm just going to guess that that's what it's called. Although I know I'm wrong. So don't come after me, makeup people, but this is what we're doing. We are contouring our furniture. So we're adding the lighter in areas and now I am taking my darker brush and kind of just adding those over top so that we have that dark before we go in with our final blending brush. Now this brush that I have designed is one of my favorite brushes. I use it for all my blends and I am just going to go horizontal. I'm going to go vertical. And because I want to pull some of that darker, I am going to kind of lightly go over the darker areas and pull them in a little bit. I am going to continue to wipe my brush consistently so that I get the excess paint off. But this is one of the best brushes I've ever used to do my final blend. And this is why I love it so much. And again, you want to make sure you're always using a light hand when you're blending. You do not need to mash on it. This, these paints blend really, really well together. So just take your time and practice. I know that sometimes blending can be difficult, but the more practice, the better you'll get. I promise. Okay, so I wanna show you on the right-hand side, we have used a black glaze and that has added just a little bit more of a shadowy effect. The left-hand side doesn't have it. This is Paint Couture's Black Chiffon Glaze. It is a water-based glaze. And I'm gonna show you how I'm going to use this to add just a little bit more depth. So this is just your run-of-the-mill artist brush. You can use a makeup brush if you want. And I am just going to add it on all the areas where I had the darker paint. And then I'm going to just take a microfiber cloth and I'm going to wipe it back and I'm going to pay, I'm going to spray a little bit of water on that microfiber cloth so that I can pull back some of those areas where the glaze is. It doesn't, I'm not going to glaze the entire piece, but this is going to make it so that we can add just a little bit more dimension on here.
Because this is going to be in my bathroom, I am going to use Paint Couture's Extreme Guard Top Coat. And I'm going to top coat the entire piece. And then I'm going to go over the hardware with a gold oil-based gilding wax just to add that in. And I want to go ahead and walk you through. This is what the bathroom looked like before. And then you're going to see what the bathroom looked like after. I do have a video coming of this entire thing, but this was just specified to how I got this vanity to have this paint in the blending on here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys later. Happy creating and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, want to see it now. And get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty